the young man called Alaba, uh, I don't know if I call his real name, uh, Promise, aka Mubad, who just passed away. Now, you can see the way people are showing him love. He's no longer alive. Which means, no matter, the only thing that will make that young man to rest in peace is when justice is being done. But that is not even the reason why I'm here. So, which means it is very clear that people don't love you until you are no more. They only talk about you when you are dead. And then when you are dead, they get what they can get from all of what they have seen. You see people you've never believed will like a person on the day of burial. That is number one. So I want you to know that people around you might be professing love and that love is not true. You must know who is your friend. You must know who is your enemy. What happened to this young man? Two things. Number one, wrong foundation. He had a very wrong foundation. A beautiful future lost in the hands of people who don't have a future for him. So he had to grow through that structure and it became the demise, the cause of his demise. Now you are listening to me. You are not a musician. And you are wondering what is a pastor saying about this thing. Why can't he not just focus on his ministry? Why should he be involving himself? It concerns me. Because it reminds me of something that happened to my brother in 2012. My brother was dead. He, he was brutally killed, murdered. And in fact, he was killed by friends, according to the investigation. And these are people that my brother could die for. He could do anything for them, but they killed him. But I'm not here to talk about my brother's case. I have healed about my brother. Now, why am I talking about? Why did I find it very interesting? about this very matter and this thing i'm about to say is going to talk about many many things that is very deep right i mean see i can do a series on this and i will not get tired now the area of fraternity cabalism and fadarism fraternity cabalism and fadarism you see these three things this is the most dangerous things that has killed the talent of many people people have died people have died because of these three things i believe a person needs to look up to someone as a role model in order for him to grow and i also believe that who you follow determines what follows you your company determines the manifestation of whatever happens around your life so, it is the way you lay your bed that matters how you rely on that bed. This thing that has happened to this young man is deeper than what all of us expect. Or in, we can imagine. It shows that this young man had connected himself to a certain fraternity. And he has actually, he realized. And when it was time for him to leave, you know, he got his share of pain. They didn't want him to leave because he was not part of them. So if he wasn't part of them, the end point of this uh, whole drama was that he was going to face persecution. He was going to face attack and all of that. So all the rest of his life, he went through threat. He went through attack. He went through pain. He went through rejection. He went through struggles because... He found the wrong father. And I'm not talking about his biological father. I'm talking about his mentor. Now he went through the wrong mentorship ground. And people he looked up to, he finally saw who they were, who they were in reality. And as he saw who they were in reality, that was all. I mean, that was everything. You know, that was everything that he realized. And he now started taking his part. Now let me say this thing. Now this is my real confession. Some of us are seeing these things we think is only happening in music. It's not happening only in musical. I, Prophet Samuel King, this is something that I told myself, you know what, I'm not going to grant interview, I'm not going to talk about, and I'm not somebody that is weak. I don't talk about, maybe sometimes I post my stories, you know, to tell you where God took me from and where I came from, but the deeper things are so deep. You know, I had a conversation with a pastor, and he says, Bro, I can't believe you've been through these things and you've not told people the real, the, your real story. 
you know if it was not the help of god so many of us here today we are not going to be alive i'm sorry to say there are so-called people who call themselves fathers in the lord that I mean they've raised themselves to become another god that without them if you don't have connection with them if you don't have affiliation with their ministry you can't preach the gospel in any places you can't do nothing we are here talking about this young man who is singing and i'm going to go deeper because this is deeper now we have so-called organization in the body of christ where if you don't belong to it you cannot stand in certain places to preach there are certain politicians you cannot speak to there are certain things you can never do in life i'm telling you the gospel truth i have had pro um, programs that has been cancelled there was a time a pastor was going to invite me and was it in Bayelsa? i was going to go and preach for like few days in that in that church and then when my posters was out this so-called person who i used to call a mentor but because i did not want to do the things he asked me to do i was not part of their lifestyle he called the other pastor and told him um okay if you don't want your church to scatter uh, you know you have to be careful and you know that you are part of us eh? uh, you know what we are giving you you know um you have to remove that guy from your um, um, names of guest speakers and all of that there's nothing that pain me more than what has happened in that event because i fasted prepared prepared my life and in fact that was supposed to be one of my the game changer of my life because i knew that there were young people there there were people who will believe in me there are people who will finally see me for who i i am or who i was at that time as a young was i was having a lot of i mean messages that i could not preach i was having a lot of prophecies I, I needed to release i had you know as a young man you have a gift you want to share but these things was not there so finally i prepared for this program for 21 days i fasted my mom was even telling me come and eat is is this program you want to go and preach is just two days this one you are not eating i said no 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 no. i need to deliver only for this guest speaker to call me and say my um my um my my the administration is over and in fact to even worsen the whole thing he told me to refund the transport they sent to me i should send the transport back to them and uh, how much was the transport they sent me thirty thousand naira that time that i have to refund the money and you know at that time i was not doing this uh, bank transfer there's nothing like um I was not having the bank app to do the transfer you understand and so this transfer i had to okay quickly rush to the bank and to go and um, collect the money withdraw and then they send to the pastor you know but i had not even gone out you know i was still dressing to go and say let me change my clothes you know because i was calling the event the organizers i was calling the people they're no they were no longer picking my call few days to the program nobody was talking to me again you know let me know my left and right so when they told me to return the money the way they were pressuring me to return ordinary thirty thousand naira i was like what is this whole thing have you returned the money please you have to return the money in fact the the pa was now telling me guy return he, he was no longer talking to me as a pastor he was not saying guy return the money please i don't want my, my uh, our man of god to be angry i returned the money and i and i sent a message to the bishop i say sir i don't know what must have happened but i believe for everything there is an explanation and for everything god who knows everything would actually you know i said some things that i said thank you for even for for, for the fact that i did not show in that program but for you putting my face on your billboard thank you sir for the for the uh, for the this thing that was the end so i started noticing declination people started hating me pastors started hating me because this so-called pastor was not i mean 
he took it so deep that every places I went to, he told them to cancel me. And I was just a young man. Now, what hurt me was not that I 